So now I want to talk about positive thinking and the psychology of happiness. So LA says, ask and it is given, or you get what you think about. So you want to think about positive things, right? So the premise is that if you feel good, your good vibes make you compatible for the good things that match how you feel. So famous Holocaust survivor Viktor Frankl, which is one of my favorite authors, he wrote a book, uh, Man's Search for Meaning, said, everything can be taken from a man, but one thing, the last of the human freedoms, is to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances. In fact, he also stated that even in those horrible circumstances, you can still find positive emotions, and that once a person lost hope, that is the point he knew that they would not live much longer. Because it's that hope that kept people alive. It's that optimism that kept people thriving, even though they were lacking food, lacking resources, and things like that, that they could still survive in those circumstances. So many of us may have had grandparents or parents that told us to look at the bright side of things, to see the silver lining, and to keep our chin up. We may have even heard it Statements like, it's not what happens to us that matters. It's how we react to it in that situation. And no matter what your beliefs are, that is the truth. At a minimum, choosing to think of life from a positive perspective will make you feel better. And that is, after all, what we all want. We all want to be happy. We all want to feel better. Even, even in negative situations, we want to feel good and see the possibilities instead of limitations. So you are more likely to notice opportunities when they present themselves if you're in a right state of mind. Additionally, you will be in a healthier mental state, making you better able to take appropriate actions to your desired opportunities. So the impact of happiness is a fact. It's not a theory. It's a proven fact in research. So at this point, there are hundreds of studies, if not thousands, in the field of happiness, some of which have claimed that we live in a golden age of happiness, as our understanding is truly astonishing. Even though we're just in the infancy stages of truly understanding the impact that positive thinking can have on us. So I'll give you an example. A study conducted by McClellan and uh, Kirchner in 1988 demonstrated that just contemplating altruism leads to an immunity boost. And this was back in 1988. Imagine how far we've come from then. Another study by the University of New Hampshire demonstrated that happiness could keep us from contracting the common cold. And even if we did get it, it would recover much faster. So there are many other studies that have shown that happiness can double your critical thinking skills, problem solving skills, and creativity, that it can boost your immune system, that your cardiovascular health can improve, you can live longer, have more fulfilling and longer lasting relationships, receive work promotions more often than people who are not in that positive state of mind. You live a more balanced life in general. You better manage stress. You change your perceptions, your emotional triggers, and your memories are different if you're in a positive state. So the powerful things about many of these studies is that they show that happiness is a science and that happiness is a choice. It's a choice that you can make that can transform every aspect of your life. So we create happiness in our own life. Like everything else, relationships do not improve by chance and success does not happen, does not come by by chance. Even though sometimes from the outside, it may seem that way because we don't see everything that went into creating that state of mind and that situation to give you the success. So the th same thing goes for happiness. It's a commitment to creating happiness habits that drive your ability to be happy and receive the benefits from it. It's saying every day, I'm going to do those things that make me happy. So also keep in mind that the mind is a tool that is driven by your focus. Therefore, as we commit to positive thoughts, our mind will look for those positive things and ways of creating it. In another word, remember that the RAS 
is very goal oriented and that it knows what you want it to be and will consistently scan your environment and those things around you to try to create that in your reality. So you have the power to tell your mind what state it wants to be. But again, it starts with the patterns. What are the patterns that you have in your morning, in your afternoon, in your evening? What are some of the things that you do? In fact, some studies show that almost over 50% of your daily habits or your daily things that you do and say are just patterns that you repeat on a daily basis. It means that 50% of your day is based on the same thing that you did yesterday and the day before and the day before. So what things in your life, in your pattern, can you change to create more happiness? It's not only about creating more happiness, again, it's about impacting every single part of your life, whether it's your creativity, your thought process, your health, your ability to create things in your environment that you want to create. So take that opportunity and assess those things in your life and those patterns that you want to change and start creating the happiness that will transform every aspect of your life. Thank you.